Dear children, this is the Galley Theatre New York, and today we are reading for you the fairy tale of Little Red Riding Hood. Enjoy. Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl that was so dear to everyone, especially to her grandmother. Oh, what a beautiful day. My granddaughter is going to come and visit me today. I hope she finds a way through the deep and dark forest to where I, her granny, lives. I have a present for her. A little red hood. Hello, grandmother. Hello, my dear. It's lovely to see you. Come sit down next to me. I have to tell you something very, very important. The world is divided into two kinds of people. The lambs and the wolves. <gasps> and who am I? Oh, you are a lamb, of course. And a lamb needs to be protected. And therefore, I sold you this hood. Oh, thank you, Grandmother. Now I am protected. And from now on, you shall be called Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood? I'm Little Red Riding Hood and I'm walking through the woods. I'm Little Red Riding Hood and I'm dancing through the woods. Goodbye, my dear. Take good care. Goodbye, Grandmother. Hello, I'm the wolf, and you know what? I'm hungry. It's been a long, cold, lonely winter, and I would eat anything, even cereal. Hey, I have a question. Have you guys seen Little Red Riding Hood recently? Ah, because her grandma's house is deep in the woods. So here's my plan. Next time, Little Red Riding Hood is on the way to her grandmother, I will <laughs> eat her. Wait a second. I have a better idea. I will ask Little Red Riding Hood where her grandmother lives, and then I will tell her, pick some flowers. In the meantime, I will go to grandmother's house, eat grandmother up, disguise myself as grandmother and then wait until little red riding hood comes and then I will <laughs> eat and then I will be full after this long cold lonely winter I need good food hey guys 
Now you know my plan. But remember... <laughs> In the meantime, Little Red Riding Hood had arrived back home. Hello, Mommy! Look at the little red hood that Grandmother gave me. Now I'm no longer your little girl. I'm the cool Little Red Riding Hood. How do I look? You look beautiful, but I have some bad news for you. Grandmother just emailed me. <laughs> just kidding. She sent me a text. <laughs> just kidding. She tweeted. <laughs> that was just a joke. She sent me a letter that she is sick and weak and she needs strengthening. You have to bring her cake and wine. And Little Red, stay on the right path. And if the wolf comes, don't listen to the wolf. Don't accept anything from the wolf. And never, ever, Little Red, never, ever go with the wolf. Never, ever, never, ever. Little Red Riding Hood went on her way to her grandmother's house. Hello, Little Red Riding Hood. What are you doing here in the woods? I'm going to my grandmother's house. I'm bringing her cake and wine as she's sick and weak, and she needs strengthening. Mm-hmm. And where does your grandmother live? I will never tell you where my grandmother lives. Never, ever, never, ever. Aww. <coughs> Little Red Riding Hood, you have such beautiful hair. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. So where does the grandmother live? I will never tell you where my grandmother lives. I will never tell you that she only lives a quarter of an hour away from here under the three big oak trees right next to the hazelnut bushes. That's what I'm not supposed to tell you, and that's what I won't tell you. Never, ever, never, ever. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood, look around you everywhere. Beautiful flowers. Why don't you pick some and bring them to Grandmother? And Little Red, take your time. <laughs>
Little Red Riding Hood kneeled down and started to pick the beautiful flowers. The wolf said, I have plenty of time, I have plenty of time, I have plenty of time. In the meantime, the wolf ran to grandmother's house and knocked on her door. Oh, is that you, Little Red Riding Hood? Yes. Uh, yes, it's me. I brought you some cake and wine. Oh, so fine. Cake and wine. Yes, cake and wine, that is fine. Open the door. Uh, it's open, my dear. Oh. <laughs> the wolf opened the door and walked right to Grandmother's bed and ate her in one piece. Um. He quickly disguised himself as the Grandmother. He put on her hood, her glasses, as well as her scarf and waited for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. Grandmother, why do you have such big ears? All the better to hear you with, my dear. <laughs> Grandmother, why do you have such big eyes? Ooh, all the better to see you with, my dear. <laughs> but Grandmother, why do you have such big hands? All the better to grab you with, my dear. <sighs> But, Grandmother, why do you have such a big mouth? <sighs> All the better to eat you with, my dear. <laughs> oh, no. Um. The wolf ate Little Red Riding Hood in one gulp and fell asleep right away. The hunter was passing by Grandmother's house and was surprised to hear Grandmother snoring. Oh, mon Dieu! I've never heard Grandma snore like this before. Let me check. Oh, le loup, the wolf! Now I found you at last, you old sinner. Now you're gonna get it. One bullet and it's over. But wait, maybe the wolf swallowed the Grandmother whole then I could still save her. Good thing I always bring my special scissors. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother were saved by the hunter and they lived happily ever after. <laughs>